Today I'm going to reach out and talk to my sighted supporters and give them just a little bit of reason to indulge themselves. And that's coming up right now. What's up VIPs, Derek here, back with another video where it's all about helping you discover life after sight loss. On this channel we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how-tos, and more. So if that sounds good to you, make sure that you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. Hey, oftentimes I talk to visually impaired people. I talk about being visually impaired. I talk about what to do if you are visually impaired. I talk about tips and tricks and technology about being visually impaired. Impaired, but this channel is not solely for people who are visually impaired. This channel is about discovering life after sight loss. And that applies to those people who are considered sighted supporters. And who is a sighted supporter? Well, it's somebody whose life is directly affected because somebody they love and know has lost their sight. Somebody like a spouse, a parent, a really, really good friend, something like that. It's not somebody that you once met like 15 years ago who happened to lose their sight. It's somebody who's lost their sight and directly affects your life. So if you're watching this and you're a visually impaired person, call in your sighted supporter and say, hey, you need to come watch this, especially if it is your spouse. This one is directed to the sighted supporter spouse. The triple S, I guess, is what we're doing. Hashtag sadist supporter spouse. Sport is spider spouse. Sad. Anyway, it's a tongue twister. The point is, it's your sighted supporter spouse. I have a spouse, and I've been married to her for almost 14 years now. We've been together, actually, since we were 15 years old. Can you believe it? Here's the interesting part about my situation. My spouse was with me when I had sight, through the transition of losing it, and now with me after sight loss. And so maybe you're like that. Maybe you're a spouse whose husband or wife has lost their sight and you were with them prior to that. Or maybe you're with somebody who has already lost their sight and then you married them. Maybe you're dating, maybe you're engaged, maybe you're something like that. I say spouse pretty loosely. Maybe you're dating or engaged and that's okay too. But here's the thing I've noticed. If you're a spouse, you probably recognize this. My wife drives everywhere. Why? Because I can't. And so we have one car and she drives and that is how it goes. When she's at work, somebody else has to come pick us up. But when she's off, she's the driver. Whether it's football games or basketball games or, or dances or church or any other such event, she's driving to it all. And it's so difficult because not only is it just time consuming, but you're always trying to think ahead and think, okay, am I going to be available to drive or transportation or things of that nature? And it can be very, well, annoying. But today I want to encourage you on something. My wife and I are taking a trip this summer. We talked about driving. Now, granted, this place is about 14 hours away when you drive. And it's just like, well, I'm not so sure about this because obviously I can't help drive. So she'd be driving the entire time. We decided, you know what? We're going to fly. It's obviously a little more expensive or a lot more expensive depending on the guy prices but it's well worth the investment now is it an investment to you know some airplane company no is it an investment just because I like to fly no is it an investment in the trip maybe a little but here's the real investment it is an investment in my wife not because I'm giving her the money but because we're saying you know what you drive constantly and there's no reason that you need to drive on the vacation. We're not getting a rental car. We're not doing any of that. We're gonna work out the transportation, getting there, getting around, all that stuff, because since she drives constantly, she needs a break. And I challenge you today, if you're a sighted supporter spouse, if you drive constantly, if there's a chance, don't. If there's an opportunity, don't drive. If you're with some friends who drive, make them drive. If you're going on vacation, take the extra investment not in a trip, not in an airline, but in yourself to not drive the car. Put the keys in the house and just enjoy the vacation because trust me, vacations or events or things like that, they're your vacation too. And you do a lot of work just by driving. And that doesn't mention all the other things. I wanna say a personal big thank you to my wife and thank you on behalf of all of us VIPs for the sighted supporters in our lives because hey, you do an amazing job. So take the time, invest in yourself and take that airplane or that car ride from a friend or that Uber or whatever because sometimes investing in yourself 
itself is totally worth it. Hey, if you're a sighted supporter and you drive all the time, I'd love to hear about it from you in the comments below. Share with me, how do you get around it? Do you take time away not to drive? Are there things that you do instead of driving? Maybe you let somebody else do it. What are some of the woes that you have? And maybe you just want to vent a little bit. Hey, you can do that in the comments below. Let's make a space where we can share together. Leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another single video. And until next time, my name is Derek and I'll see you in the next one.